Hey guys, my name is Simsy. How are you all doing? Welcome back to some more FIFA 17. We're going to be starting a brand new series here today. We're going to be starting my player career. So guys, if this video can hit 500 likes within 24 hours, I will do a double upload here today and release the second video instantly. So, I have changed my nationality to Austrian instead of Australian, and instead of starting in Australia this time, we're going to be starting in the Austrian Bundesliga. Now, I'm quickly going to explain why that is. Now, I'm Australian. I was born in Australia. Both my parents were, all my grandparents were, except for my grandfather, who was born in Austria. Moved out to Australia when he was 26 um, and met my grandmother. The rest is uh, pretty much history. So, guys, let me know in the comment section down below where you're from. Obviously, if you're from a Commonwealth country like Australia, or well, maybe even just the United States to some extent, to some extent, you're from somewhere else unless you're indigenous. So, I am Australian. I was born in Australia, but I have a European ancestry of uh, Austrian from my grandfather, and way, way back into my other, like past my grandparents, I come from uh, Irish and English descent. So I decided to mix it up for this series um, simply because the last two years of my player, I've started in Australia and then I've moved on. So I think in the first season we started in Australia, we moved to Everton, Chelsea and then Barcelona. The second year in FIFA 16, we started in Australia. We moved to Aston Villa, Liverpool and then I think we ended up in Barcelona in the end. So for this series, the main objective is to obviously, we're going to start in Austria hopefully try and via move to a big European club. And then uh, the main objective is to try and get to a top European side, whether that's Barcelona, Real Madrid, Bayern Munich, or even like United. I'd love to play for United in this series. So we'll basically just try and become a world-class player, road to being a world-class player. But because technically my grandfather was born in Austria, I am eligible in real life to play, if I was a world-class footballer, to play for the Austrian international team. So yeah, like I said, guys, let me know in the comment section down below where you're from and what's your ethnicity. So like I said before, I'm Australian. I see myself as Australian. I was born in Australia. However, my ancestry is European, Irish, English, and Austrian. Now... This is sort of the question. If I was a world-class footballer, would I play for Austria or Australia? And that's a difficult question to ask, if I'm being honest. I don't know. But the thing is, right, I see myself as an Australian. I was born in Australia. My parents were. Like I said, my grandparents were. Except for my Austrian grandfather, my, my Australian family has been here since day dot. And I say that since the 1800s when Australia was uh, roughly established. Um, but there's obviously some huge benefits. Obviously, if you live in Australia, um, you're most likely not going to win. I, I honestly don't think Australia is going to win the World Cup in the next 100 years. <laughs> honestly, if I go to Austria, I can play in the Euros. Um, I could obviously have a better chance playing with a high... Well, of, obviously, Austria and Australia. Austria is a much more high caliber team. Obviously, we've got David Alaba. We've also got uh, an Altovic. There's also a lot of good Austrian players that we could uh, play with. And hopefully, we'll play a couple with the international team. But yeah, let me know. What are, what are, what are your other sort of... Um, I guess if you were a world-class footballer, what are some of your nationality eligibilities? So yeah, that's pretty much it. We do have two matches in today's episode in the Austrian Bundesliga playing for Red Bull Salzburg, RB Salzburg. I made the decision to go with the messy uh, speed light boots. There were a couple of Nikes which I really liked, but I like the blue comparison to the red. Red is my favorite color, um, but quite like purple as well, but um, I think the blue really, really shines out against the red. So, uh, yeah, so basically the main objectives for this series is to win a major, major European domestic title, whether that be in like Serie A, England, the Bundesliga, I want to try and win a major domestic cup. We could do sort of a journey, a bit of a journeyman as well, and I want, of course, possibly win the UEFA Champions League, so we'll just sort of see how we go. These are some of the celebrations. We went with the backflip. My favorite player in world football is Ronaldinho, so I got most of the Samba stuff there. I am a striker. That's who I'm going to be playing with. I'm giving myself the number seven. 
even though obviously the number nine is the more striker position. The number seven was my number when I played football, and it's my number I really like. <laughs> it's my lucky number. I don't really plan to spend the full first season at Salzburg. We'll just sort of play it as I played my youth a career here. I went through the Salzburg Youth Academy. I've made it to the first team now. Hopefully, I can get some decent first team performances under my belt in the friendlies and in the league. We have two matches. I am the prominent striker at the moment, which is great. So I'm going to be really leading the line. We also have Champions League football in this season. So I, I will try and via for a move in January. I'd rather play for like a small club here in Austria or a small club here in Australia and then just sort of see what offers we get rather than picking like a major Premier League or Bundesliga or just Spanish or Italian side. So I'm 71 rated at the moment. I do believe I'm worth roughly 3.2 million pounds just because of my age. Um, compared to other years on FIFA, I found that FIFA 17 doesn't have that many buffs through the catalog. I have gone through and bought some as well for the training and just overall stuff. Like I've got high socks. I've got a, a skinny tight um, under like a top uh, shirt, Guernsey or whatever it's fucking called. My kit. Yep. And I'm wearing gloves at the moment as well. So we're going to have the first match of today's episode in the Austrian Bundesliga against Wolfsburg. Hopefully we can pick up a goal here and there. They want me to score 19 goals this season and set up six. So... We'll play in Austria here today, and then we will probably try and via for a move in January. I don't know how many seasons we're going to do, but I really want to win a major domestic title and go on to some European glory as well. Because we're playing for Austria, we could actually go and play the World Cup uh, in 2020. I do actually have a call-up coming out recently. Now, we are in the Champions League, like I did say. In real life, Sol Salzburg got knocked out in the qualifiers. There's also an interesting controversy that the uh, UEFA is making Red Bull Leipzig and Red Bull Salzburg decide which team to play. Um, only one can have that Champions League spot. So that's, of course, a bit of controversy at the moment. So, uh, Salzburg are going to be playing a 4 triple uh, two by the looks of it, and hopefully we can get a win here. So hopefully I can score on my debut. I'm a, I'm a sort of I'm trying to sort of equivalent to myself how I want to play. Ronaldinho is my favourite player, but I'm not going to be playing a central attacking midfield. I'm going to be playing as a striker. I want to be a really good finisher, like Luis Suarez, like Sergio Aguero, maybe even now. I guess Sergio Aguero is a bit out of date. Maybe Gabriel Jesus, maybe Rob Lewandowski. I made myself five foot eleven. Six foot one's pretty good in this game as well, but I think five foot eleven is the sweet spot for being a my player because you're short enough to get away with pace because it does take that just a little bit longer if you're over six foot to get some decent pace about you. So let's talk about the game now. Wolfsburg back on the attack. Not the Bundesliga Wolfsburg, the Austrian Wolfsburg. Spread it wide. Sims, he tries to play it through to Miranda, I do believe it was. And the full-time whistle has blown. Unfortunately, we had a pretty poor and sort of awful match. I'm 72 rated. I'm playing in a lower league, and I'm only controlling myself. So sometimes as a striker, you're a little bit isolated. You sort of have to rely on the CPU, the AI, to get it up to you. And sometimes it just doesn't happen. Hopefully, we can have a better result in the next. Now, I did mention before, in real life, Salzburg did get knocked out in the qualifiers for the group stages. However, in FIFA, not all of the UEFA Champions League teams are in the game. So that's why we're in actually the group stages. So, um, depending if a big European club comes for me, uh, we, we could try and go for a Champions League run with Salzburg here today. We're going to be playing Austrian wine, wine, wine. I think that's how you say it. We're playing our first home match. Hopefully, we can pick up an assist and a goal of some sort of uh, highlight because that first match was poor. My debut was poor. We managed to draw nil-nil. Simsi back on the ball, flicks it up top to the attacking midfielder. We're breaking away here. Simsi on the ball. Can he beat the last defender? Gets a shot on target, hits it low, hits it hard to the bottom right. And I'm sort of hoping maybe some of the top European clubs will see this young Austrian in the Austrian Bundesliga and hopefully can put a bid in for me in January. We had an okay uh, pre-season. Okay, Austrian Vine getting a ball into the box. I really love the purple. It kind of reminds me of Anderlecht. Just before the 25th, it's nil-nil. They popped it at the back post. I've called for it up the pitch. I've pushed up here. 
with the high socks and the blue boots. I really do like those blue messy boots. I might try and change my haircut and my... What a ball over the top here, though. Cops it on the chest. Can Salzburg get through? Oh, I'm back on the ball. Oh, too much of a heavy touch. Yeah, I'll try and change my hair and my... Um my boots every other season, or maybe getting into a new club. Let me know in the comments. People have different opinions and such. So we're trying to build up an attack here with Salzburg. I'm back on the ball. Got really high agility. That's a nice shot, but a little bit too ambitious outside the box. It is still nil-nil at home. All right, I've dropped really far forward here. Oh, okay, in the second half, a little bit too ambitious, if I do say so myself. All right, come on, let's press and harry the defense. Oh, what a tackle by myself. Some tricky one-two passing. Come on, yes! Get the finesse off, hit the crossbar. I love it when it slams down shut. I'm going to do my crazy backflip celebration. And we're 1-0 up. The first goal of the My Player career. An appalling piece of defensive display. Some nice... Passing football slams the crossbar. I love it when he rings that crossbar and slams down shut. We're 1-0 up, beating the Austrian captain here. And my first goal of the Austrian Bundesliga. Like I said, hopefully we can attract some interest. I'm currently worth, what, £4 million pounds or something or other. The first of the campaign and hopefully many more to come. Back on the attack, feeding it wide to Berisha. Come on, get it to me here. For the second! Oh, that's a phenomenal finesse, but it is still 1-0. Salzburg trying to get back on the attack. That's a nice ball over the top here. Oh, shit! Nearly puts it. That's a really, really nice shot. Hits it wide. It's just, oh. What a nice first touch. Brings it over from his right to his left. Trying to put it into the bottom left there. That's a nice ball back. Oh, I've beaten my man. Come on, finish it. Oh, what a ball into the box here. We're 1-0 up against Austria. Red Bull Salzburg trying to make it 2-0, trying to kill it off. That would have been a sensational assist. The full-time whistle has blown, and we have claimed a 1-0 victory. Now, like I said, I don't plan to stay too long in Salzburg. Just sort of played as I've played in the Youth Academy from when I was young. We've had an okay sort of preseason friendlies. We've got a couple of matches under our belt. Alrighty, guys. I've made the decision to hand in my transfer request in July and in August because I want to obviously try and move in as many windows as possible instead of either just like picking a prominent side. I, I like the randomness of it. I like if we've put in a... We haven't put in that much work. <laughs> we've only scored one goal in two Austrian Bundesliga matches. So we haven't had the most sort of high-flying offers compared to in when we played in Australia. Obviously, the league and the seasons are a bit different down there. So, I've handed in my transfer request. Let's see the offers that we have. So, the first offer we have is from Middlesbrough. Guys, let me know in the comment section down below, should I move in the August transfer deadline day and maybe move to the Premier League in Middlesbrough? And we also got an offer from Sunderland. Let me know in the comment section down below there as well. I could definitely see myself at Sunderland, if I'm being honest. I think I should sign for Sunderland out of the two, simply because Sunderland is not the same as real-life Sunderland. The manager, David Moyes, isn't really affecting FIFA. And in FIFA, they have a lot of quality players who have crazy growth. Obviously, except for Jermaine, Depo J Jermaine Defoe up front. Imagine myself... The big man and the small man, Jermaine Defoe up front. This would be a menacing strike partnership. They're also going to have Adnan Janazai on the left, who is sensational in FIFA. Absolutely superb. He's going to rock it up in stats on loan from Manchester United. We've also got a lot, of, a lot of other quality players like Jordan Pickford. We've also got Paddy McNair, Donald Love. They're going to shoot up in FIFA compared to what's happening in real life to Sunderland. However, I'm going to be losing Champions League, which I don't really mind because I, we've got a pretty tough group and I don't think we'd go very far with Salzburg anyway. So let me know in the comments. Should I jump ship? Should I do a full season with Salzburg or maybe try and leave in January? I sort of feel like I wanted to start in 
Austria, and then just see the offers we came. And I also, I also forgot to mention that Mane, actually, Sado Mane, who now plays for Liverpool, played for Salzburg. He was he started playing at Mets in the French League, moved to Salzburg, then Southampton, and now he's playing for Liverpool. So maybe Liverpool uh, or Southampton might put in a, a bid for me. So we're going to have to end the My Player career here today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If this video can hit 500 likes within 24 hours, I will do a double upload here today and release the second episode instantly. Social media links, if you guys want to stay connected with me, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all in the description below. If you guys want to get yourself some cheap and reliable games, maybe even Football Manager, maybe FIFA 17, check out my G2A affiliation link in the description below. My name has been Simsy. Take care of yourselves. Goodbye. Mares whips it into the box. Royce! That is just ridiculous. With the layup, Marco Royce. Holy shit.